Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing a 58 by 58 tapestry. It has been washed, dried, and soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes. Uh, it's folded in half, and then I fold it in half again just to find center. So it's just back to being folded in half right now. And I used a piece of sinew and a washable marker to make that arc or half a circle. And uh, I'm clipping it off, trying to keep it as even as I can. I want this to be a nice, tight uh, bullseye is what it's going to be. So I'm going to pleat it up all the way around here. I'm guessing they're about maybe an inch plus starting out. And I was trying to keep them just one pleat all the way across from the tip to the other end. But they do get bigger and it's a lot harder to do than what I thought. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep on pleating, try to keep it nice and tight, and we'll go from there. So I'm still trying to work on those larger pleats. Definitely a little uh, learning curve on those. I'm using a piece of sinew on here because I wanted to do another one with the sinew. So I thought, okay, I'll throw this in the middle and see how it looks. And the sinew puller I got from Boredom with Jen. And she's having a discount right now, 10%. And the code word is Belladonna. Uh, if you put that in, you get a 10% discount. And it's only good till October 31st. Yeah, they're very nice. And with the caddy, it's even better. Okay, so I'm just going to continue on here. The end of it, I'm doing lightly in string. It's not very tight. It's just to hold it together. And... Uh, it seems to work pretty good. I'm getting better with the string, I think. It's uh, a lot of fun, actually. Okay, it's the final touch, and we're gonna start applying some dye. And this is going to be an ice dye. First color we're doing is lemon yellow. Then we're going to do soft orange, Chinese red, amethyst, alpine blue, lemon yellow, glacier blue, royal blue, and lemon yellow to top it off. So I actually have this on my hot water irrigation rack. It's slightly inclined, and I'm using my dollar store Tupperware, or I guess not Tupperware, plastic containers, and uh, to hold the shirt in place. They're pushed up against the backboard, and then they're clipped at the bottom. And uh, yeah, instead of using tin foil or something like that, I just pull these out and they seem to work okay. And so I'm just gonna continue on spreading the dye.
All right, that's going to be it for the dye. And I applied sodash to it on top. I didn't get that for some reason. I don't know why. And now the ice is going on. Uh, I know you're used to seeing me using a dye out of the bottles, but this was straight dye. That's why the uh, sodash. And the little container seemed to be working pretty good holding all that in place. Uh, only a couple of ice cubes actually fell through. And uh, it's already starting to melt. I like it. Definitely like the colors on it when it's melting. It's pretty cool. All right. Just about got her there. That one container was starting to slide a little bit, so taped it off to the bottom and it didn't move. There we go, a few more ice cubes. This actually took one whole nother layer of ice on top of it. A thick layer just like this one. And this is the angle I had it at. And it's not too steep, I guess, but it seemed to work. All right, well, here it is. I think it turned out pretty cool myself. Definitely likes the way that ice moved. And you can see actually where the sinew is or was on that wider spot there, I believe. I tried to count it out and that's where it should have ended up. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy with it. I was gonna use this in uh, one of my giveaways, but I discovered a couple little holes in it. I didn't notice it when I washed, dried, tied, and dyed it. Uh, I used string on the ends here, so I didn't do it. And so it ended up being sold. I just didn't want to use something ripped for a giveaway. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you liked it, please hit like. And if you want to share it, by all means, please do. Once again, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.